Hey guys, my name is Kevin. Welcome to the play along for Neil Young's Heart of Gold. We're taking a trip up north this week to the great country of Canada. I've spent a lot of time in Canada in my life and I love the people up there and I'm meeting a ton of new people from Canada because of this beautiful instrument here that we're all playing together around the world. So as we do songs around the world, we're jumping from country to country. We've been to the UK and now we're in Canada for Neil Young's Heart of Gold. I'm gonna show you the chord progression, the strumming pattern, and then we're gonna play this one together. So get a smile on your face and let's do it. Alrighty, so we're gonna take a look at the chords now. The four chords that we need for this tune are E minor, which is played like this. D major. G major. And finally, our old friend, the C chord. So those are the four chords that we'll use in different orders throughout the song, but get acclimated with those. And the strumming pattern is pretty simple. We're just gonna use a down strum throughout. So most of the song, you're just gonna kind of feel this down strum on one, two, three, four. And you can do that with your index finger, or if you wanna do it with your thumb, you can try that. I wouldn't recommend it. I think your index finger is probably the better way to go. There's a couple little spots in the song most notably the intro, where there's gonna be another little kind of what I call the signature line of the song. So the signature line of the song sounds like this. So the way we do that is we're gonna start with one strum, one, and then count one, two, three, four, five, six on E minor, then play D, mute, and E minor again. So that's a little nuance that happens. And then there's one little other thing that happens in the chorus. And you will see this noted below, but I wanna mention it to you before we get there. And that's when we play a C chord, you're gonna see something notated that says down, down, mute, down. And all you're gonna do is play down, down, mute, down. So they're all four down strums, down, down, mute, down and those happen at the end of the chorus. So those are the little things to look out for, but I would suggest if any of this stuff is kind of tripping you up already, go back and watch the full tutorial while these are all thoroughly explained and notated as well so you can spend some more time practicing them before you do the play along. So one more thing to mention, there are a few little riffs you will hear me play throughout the song that kind of fill in the empty space between a few of the chords, and those riffs will be tabbed below. The first riff is right here, that happens in the intro. And then the second riff is all on the A string where it's seven, five, three, two. So you don't have to play the riffs in the song. You can always take a rest there or just keep strumming on the chord we're on. But I'll be playing the riffs just to kind of make it feel a little bit more like the actual song recording. Alrighty, so we're gonna do this one with the metronome again this week. We are at 85 beats per minute. So if you guys want to practice this at a little slower tempo beforehand, no problem. But we're going to be doing it at the actual song tempo here. So I'll count us in. Here we go. One, two, three, four. I cross the ocean 
solo. you guys had fun playing that tune with me it's a great song and it's a little bit of an intermediate level tune for you to kind of start progressing your learning so maybe you've been spending some time using the same chords over and over again using the same strums these are the songs that are going to help you kind of ascend in your playing so don't be afraid to challenge yourself a little bit if this one seems a little frustrating for you that's okay. That means you're learning, and that's what we're all trying to do here. So if you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you do so. Leave your comments below. Let me know. If you're playing in Canada, I want to see that little flag down there in the comments, or wherever you're playing in the world. Let us know, because we're taking notes of all of those things so that we can choose our next songs. Last but not least, and I say this every time and I know I'm not supposed to, go to allforyuke.com, print out the song sheet for this one, it's really going to help you get through this tune. All the strumming patterns, chords are noted over the words correctly. It's really going to help you guys out. You can check that out in the PDF library. My name's Kevin. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next week. We're releasing up to three videos a week. We'll see you soon. Mm -hmm.